Well, hello, everyone. Welcome to the Shifts and Pucks News Pack for Friday, June the 10th. Of course, you can follow us on Twitter at Shifts and Pucks, Facebook.com Shifts and Pucks, YouTube.com Shifts and Pucks, Twitch.com Shifts and Pucks, subscribe wherever you get your audio, as well as on the Area 51 Sports Network as we get ourselves ready here for the news as we head into the weekend. And a couple of things going on today to delve into. Uh, so we'll do that. Of course, uh, we're back this weekend for another edition of our podcast uh, there this week. So we'll, we'll, we'll touch on just Jesse Pugliarvi as I have appeared to have stirred the pot in Edmonton once again for some reason or another. We'll talk about that and we will talk about some other news here. Of course, the Canucks signing Neil Zaman. Uh, the Stanley Cup playoffs, which will uh, where we'll get started here. The conference finals, the Tampa Bay Lightning were down 2-0, remember, in this series. The Rangers took the first two games in Madison Square Garden. Then they were up 2-0 on the Tampa Bay Lightning uh, in Game 3, and the Lightning came back. Well, the Rangers in this game were up 1-0, actually, as well as Ryan Lindgren, uh, unassisted. Uh, in the second period, makes it one nothing for the Rangers, and then M- Mikhail Sergachev scores late in the, the seventeen thirty four ties the game, and then uh, this game's kind of quietly moving along, looking like we're heading to overtime, and who appears but Nikita Kucherov, who doesn't get an official assist on the play, but starts to play, uh, gets a two headman, gets who passes to Sergachev. Throws it on net again, like he did in the first period, in the second period, sorry, tossing just on net. Uh, and, uh, you know, they had, you had Corey Perry screening in the first goal. He doesn't, uh, doesn't touch it, but Andre Palat screening and it counts. It's off him and it counts. And that's his eighth goal of the playoffs. A six round pick, Andre Palat. And then Brandon Hagel adds the, adds the empty net from Nikita Kucherov. And guess what? The Tampa Bay Lightning are one win away from winning their 11th consecutive series and heading to their third straight Stanley Cup final. It's uh, just impressive. You, it's not one person on this Tampa Bay team, is it? You know, you get, you, you got again strong goaltending from Andre Vasilevsky. Uh, he makes 24 saves. He is, you know, uh, outstanding. And then um, you, someone comes up and makes the play, whether it's Andre Palat, Mikhail Sergachev, uh, you know, Ross Colton, uh, who scored that goal in game two against Florida late. Uh, it's, you know, a Braden Point goes down. Anthony Sorella plays, Sorelli plays huge. The Tampa Bay Lightning just are, it's so impressive what Stamp, Tampa Bay has done overall. Uh, that uh, it's hard not to admire, it just hard not to admire uh, again how Tampa Bay has done. And you take only the experience that Tampa Bay has has done over the years, you know, uh, all of it, you know, all of these games that Tampa Bay has played, whether it's bubble game or you know, uh, empty, you know, and then last year with COVID, two straight Stanley Cup championships hard to deny they're about to hit you know the one one more game they're back again uh it's just impressive and it's it's everybody everybody contributes in tampa bay brandon hagel acquired and some said a very at a head scratching deal a lot of people said with the chicago blackhawks he scores um it's amazing amazing really uh, as for the rangers uh they uh, got to be heartbreaking for them. Uh, Ryan Lindgren, first of all, has been unbelievable. Playing hurt uh, here, twenty six fifty three of ice time last night. Uh, but you know, uh, Igor Shosturkin can't say he was terrible. Just a couple tough goals, screens, deflections. Um, Vasilevsky was just that much better than him. Uh, you wonder if other people are getting injury. You wonder if Adam Fox is starting to wear down. It is going to take, you know, they've played. Tomorrow night will be their 20th game of the playoffs. 
it, they will need to to get to the Stanley Cup final. They will need to have played 21 games as opposed to the Colorado Avalanche who have played, what, uh, 14 games, uh, 12, 8, two sweeps and in, in the six games, 14 games. It's um, that has takes a lot of toll uh, on your body. So, and a lot of toll mentally, emotionally, and physically uh, kudos to them. You know, I don't think Philip Cheeto is healthy. I don't think Strom is healthy. I think there's a lot of unhealthy players because they're playing the max. They're five and zero in elimination games. We'll see what they can do there. If they can bring them back to Madison Square Garden, but the New York Rangers, Tampa Bay Lightning, uh, as they're winding down the Lightning, heading could be heading back to the Stanley Cup final. They play tomorrow. Um, of course, some other news today. We'll, we'll touch on the Buffalo Sabers. Some news from the Buffalo Sabers today. Ra- off ice, but well, both of them are off ice. But Ryan Miller former Buffalo Sabres goaltender, former Vancouver Canucks goaltender. His number 30 will be retired. He played 11 cities, 11 seasons with Buffalo, led the team in wins. He was second all time in shutouts. Uh, he will have uh, his number 30 retired. Uh, he, uh, Miller was, uh, he was in town in Buffalo. Uh, legendary Sabres announcer Rick Jenner made the announcement. Uh, Miller, fifth round pick, 1999 NHL draft, 284, 186, 56, one tie, 11 seasons with Buffalo, uh, leader and win second in shutouts behind Dominic Hasek, won the Vesna tro- trophy back in 2009 and 10, 41, 18 and eight, uh, silver medal in course of the 2010 Vancouver Olympics, where of course Crosby scores the golden goal on Ryan Miller. And then, uh, so uh, eighth player in Sabres history behind Tim Horton, Rick Martin, Gilbert Perot, Rene Robert, Pat LaFontaine, Danny Guerin, Dominic Hasek that had their numbers retired. I personally think Dale Howardchuk should have his number retired in Buffalo, but I'm not a Sabres fan. So that's what uh, is going on with that. And then they uh, acquired Ben Bishop in a cap saving move from the Dallas Stars. I think for Dallas, this is all about. Uh, making some space for some players they need to sign, including Jason Robertson, and getting a lot of those players uh, signed and making some cap room. Uh, of course, and Sabres need to get the cap floor with Ben Bishop. So that trade has happened. It looks like, according to Kevin Weeks, it has uh, broke that as well. Uh, coaching news, looking in Winnipeg, like it is a possibility that the Barry Trotz does not end up in Winnipeg. Uh, of course, reports are indicating that the Jets may be looking around because we haven't heard from Barry Trotz yet. Uh, Trotz hasn't made a decision, and a lot of teams are, have waited for Barry Trotz. Trotz not given an indication one way or the other. Then Bruce Cassidy got let go in Boston, and I think there's some interest in there. Uh, as mentioned, looking like Dallas is going to go with Pete DeBoer, so will Winnipeg have to turn again to someone else uh, to coach? So, And then Bruce Cassidy, of course, got an interview with uh, Philadelphia, so we could, see, uh, we could see some things there as well. Meanwhile, just back to the Stanley Cup final, uh, the schedule was announced today. Avalanche will host game uh, one. It'll either be on June 15th or June 18th, <clears throat> depending on how long this Lightning Rangers series lasts. If it ends on uh, Saturday, if it ends tomorrow, then we'll, we'll, we'll have everything starting on the 15th, which will be a Wednesday. If not, it will start on Saturday. The 18th of game seven is on Monday. So we're close to getting that started there and uh so that's what's going on as well whl of course whl final continues uh tomorrow as the edmonton oil kings head back air quotes home to edmonton to face the seattle thunderbirds it will be a thunderbirds home game as in edmonton but the oil kings have the opportunity to wrap that series up after the logan dehania scored with four seconds to go officially uh to give the oil kings the three to one lead they they have lost 
two games this entire WHL run. Very impressive run for the Oil Kings. They're one win away there from getting that done. As far as other CHL action, though, uh, and then here in terms of uh, what's going on there, we've got today, we've got the uh, OHL action here as Hamilton and Windsor will go at it. Windsor's up in that series two games to one. And then tomorrow we'll have the possible wrap-up of the queue between the Charlottetown Islanders and the Shawinigan Kurdica. Karita Cats, sorry about that. Uh, as Schwinnigan is up three games to none there. Uh, trade in the WHL today as Chase Woodcroft went from the Winnipeg Ice to the Winnipeg or the Prince George Cougars. Uh, Woodcroft, uh, one of a, a group of pretty talented forwards of that Winnipeg Ice crew. Uh, their Woodcroft is sorry, uh, here just as the that trade happens today between Winnipeg and Prince George's. As some teams are starting to make some moves here in turning the off season, of course, Reese Belton was traded, uh, from uh, Camels to Tri Cities. So uh, we're we're seeing a little bit of moving, not like significant trades, but trades enough here uh, that I think we'll get your get going there. But to chase chase from Winnipeg to uh, Prince George, good good ad for the Prince George Cougars, I think as certainly provided a spark for the ice uh and and i think you know prince you know it's going to be interesting with cam loops wheatcroft of course it's a fourth round pick I said woodcroft my apologies wheatcroft fourth round pick in 2023 was the acquisition cost for the prince george cougars uh but uh, I think Weecroft can will be a good add to add some forward depth in Prince George. Uh, they, you know, got some playoff activity this year. I think they're taking a step in the up direction, and I think they'll want to be competitive this year in the BC division. So we'll see that he's a Calgary product. Sixteen goals, twenty-two assists, and then six points, one goal, five assists, and fifteen playoff games with Winnipeg and U seventeen women's. Hockey action uh, happened there, and the U.S. shut out Canada seven to nothing last night uh, in a game. I think I believe that was one of the uh, first shutouts there. Uh, just one moment here. Uh, yeah, the U.S. beat Canada seven to nothing. And uh, last night, uh, of course, that's uh, that starts that tournament there uh, as well. So uh, we got lots going on. The you got the uh, but lots going, on, but we do have lots going on in terms of of. Of hockey this weekend, of course, we've got the, just the recap. We've got three games in the CHL, all the championship games going on this weekend, as well as uh, other, as well as of course, you got the Stanley East uh, Eastern Conference Final that could happen Saturday and Monday. So there is lots to talk about uh, for sure, and uh, so pretty. Uh, pretty exciting moments there so some pretty exciting hockey still going on and then of course we got the stanley cup final coming up now as well uh the other news of today is chris peters uh well-respected scout um uh has least released his his final draft rankings we'll just touch on this as the final mo moment here uh 
the final draft rankings, it is not Shane Wright at number one. It is Logan Cooley from the U.S. Is he his rank has ranked been ranked at number one, and so Cooley, of course, ranking ahead of Shane Wright. Uh, it's but he Peter says it's a three horse race. This is in daily faceoff, of course. Cooley with the U.S. national team, as well as Shane Wright from the Kingston Frontenacs. He's number two. I still would suspect that Montreal would be taking Shane Wright and Yuri Slavkovsky, who has been a name that a lot of people have been interested in, is ranked number three. So you can read that at Daily Face Up. But Chris Peters making waves, putting Logan Cooley number one. So that creates a conversation as we head to the draft that's coming up on July the 7th. But that is the news for today. Of course, you can follow us all individually on Twitter. Sean is Beauty Canuck03, Tyler TNOBLE. Chris is Schneid's S C H N E I D Z Devin Gordhau 9 I am K uh, K E B U L E Shifts and Pucks of Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, Twitch. Subscribe wherever you got your audio, as well as on the Area 51 Sports Network. We'll be back Monday with a news pack as well. Back this weekend with a podcast. Thanks everyone for watching and listening. We'll talk to you all very soon. Bye for now.